Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Rangers Shadows of Almia. On the last episode, we took on some side quests after taking on the Paracliffs. In this episode, we're back in Yen Town. So let's uh, take ourselves another rest and uh, we'll go ahead and. I guess we can talk to. We don't want to leave Luz Luana out here. I mean, we saw these things last time. But whatever! We're heading, uh, we're gonna head to rest and we're going to progress to the next day. So, uh, dawn of the next day. Several many hours remain. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we'll have a new quest to take care of and more plot and whatnot and what for. Where's Barlow and why is, uh, Ollie here? Questions, but, uh, Barlow's left for Boyland. Uh, apparently the island's Pokemon has disappeared, so there's apparently a major mission going on over there, but Barlow's on the case, so it's not our job. Uh, so he's Barlow for the day. Um, the Ranger School's outdoor class today. Barlow is supposed to be the one-day teacher, but he is not here right now, so, uh, we get to play teacher for a day! Uh, it's kind of funny how things go full circle. The outdoor class happens while you're a student, and, uh, Crawford does it, and now it's our turn to be teacher. So we get to head back to the Ranger School, and, uh, take on, uh, being a teacher. So, kind of a nice little, uh, sort of side mission. It's, uh, interesting things. Oh, Luana, have more confidence in yourself. So, uh, we'll head to the Ranger School to the east. Ollie's here helping out, so, uh, he's, he's apparently, uh, helping out with the mechanics and whatnot. So that's cool. And, uh, for now, well, all that's left to do is really to, uh, head to the Ranger School to the east and do what we need to do there. So, once again, we have a do-duo. Hey, do you have anything you need to say? Disturbing incidences! Oh man, everyone's, everyone seems quite worried. Are you worried up here? How's it going? Nope, you care about your grandma's cookies. So, so yeah. Enough about the times people. Let's head to the ranger school and we will take on, uh, whatever we need to do there. There's a dojo here. Kind of scaring it away. How sad. Uh, we, I don't know, I'm not gonna worry about the dojo though. We're just gonna head straight to the school because I think the cutscene will probably, no, actually, I don't know if it will. Actually, there is a cutscene coming up here, so, yep, we get our dojo back for free anyway. Yay for cutscenes! So, Team Dim Sun actually is here on the way, though. They're, uh, using that machine we saw a couple of episodes ago to torment a, pro a poor old crow gunk Well, that's unfortunate. It's just kind of making it bounce around and spin around. Apparently, uh, there's a le that machine can control Pokemon remotely, so it's like a miniature Gigarimo of sorts. Fly while you're asleep? How... Yeah, it's called the Mini Remo, so it's it's lightweight and uh, apparently controls Pokemon even better. So Giga Remos are good for like air, like widespread control, but these things can control one Pokemon at a time. In other words, we're about to have using yoga poses. Strange. So they're poor man they're tormenting this poor. Uh, they're poor menting. They're poor menting this poor crow gunk. So uh, well, they're going to demonstrate the Mini Remo on us apparently. Okay. Well, you can try, good sir, but you're not going to succeed. Uh, attack while laughing uncontrollably. Wow, you're just, you guys are just douches. Douches all the way. Poor Kroagunk. Uh oh, he's pushed the wrong keys. Poor guy, he's just confused and canceled. I, meanwhile, we're just like, yeah, we need to put a stop to this. But uh, they literally just pushed the Kroagunk into us. Over there. Right, the range is over there. Go on, Billy. Get him. Go get him. Anyway, it's a crow gunk. Uh, watch out for the poison bubbles it'll cause, or the poison clouds, I guess. And he'll also, I think, spew out poison. Yeah, poison. You know, we, we've seen these kind of tactics before, so. That being said, he's not a very hard capture. That being said, he's, uh. He's. doesn't have a field move. Which means. That's right. We already got ourselves a new partner. Bye, Churchwood, we used you for all of about two seconds. He didn't get his partner gauge up to full in time. So, uh... So yeah, he's gonna bail. Uh, but where are they gonna go? One way is the school, the other way is me! That's right. It's time for them to get... all wet. And they drowned the end. I mean, I suppose that's one way to escape. So, uh, we get the crow gunk. And uh, we have ourselves yet another new partner Pokemon. This one, however, is a poison type, which is one of the new types we haven't shown off yet. That being said, it's going to be about an entire episode before we even get the, the partner gauge full up, so I'm going to show off the new assist 
next episode. So, and also, plus the Crow Gunk actually leaves her partner farm, so we'll actually pick up the Crow Gunk on the way back. He'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take him after we take care of the stuff we need to take care of on, uh, good old Ranger School here. So, that's the plan. We head over here, and, uh, oh, there actually is a dodo over here. Like I said, there's dodos everywhere. So we head in here, and we literally just walked right through a Pokemon, I'm fairly sure. We should be fighting it right now, but apparently we're not. So, Miss April, it's been a while. How's it going? We're gonna be we're gonna be the uh, Ranger teacher for the day. So Miss April takes us over here. That being said, we're actually gonna backtrack ever so slightly. Mission! Teacher Ranger School. It's an official mission, apparently. That's silly. If you remember though, there is actually a crush two block right over here. Right here. So now that we have this nose pass, we can actually crush it and uh, see what's behind this rock. It's nothing too special, but it's worth showing off. So we break the rock into tiny little pieces, and we uh, we'll head inside. And inside here is actually a Tangrowth. So uh, the Tangrowth that we fought way back when, you can actually catch one for real this time in here and have it follow you around. It's kind of exciting. Ow! It didn't even hurt me though, because I have my grass defense. And ironically enough, I've already S-ranked it, so... I don't even care. I'm not even mad! So, uh, Tangrowth is now part of a party. What does he do again? You are... a tackle. Okay, well, we don't really need a tackle for anything, but he'll be with us for a little bit. Also, go Team Grass plus Doduo, apparently. I'm Team Grass and Bird! Because you just have grass and a bird. Can we actually head down to, like, this way? I'm actually kind of curious. I'm going to take a little detour to find out. Yeah, we actually can. Okay, I was wondering if April's going to be like, No, you can't go that way! By the way, here's something I haven't shown off before. Um, could have shown this off later, but this thing actually is a target, by the way. It's a five tackle, which as, actually, as we know, is Ramparados. So, once we can finally get into the Ramparados, which won't be until post-game, we can actually tackle that, and there will be something there for us. So... Something to keep in mind, that actually is something we can tackle. It's just really, really hard to tackle it. Anyway, let's head inside here and, uh, head to our next adventure. But first, let's go, let's go visit the people that we've, uh, missed before. Hey, everyone! I'm the Ranger! I'm teaching you now! Hello! How's it going? I'm so dazzling, apparently. Whoa! Real! 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 Actually, what do you have to say? Okay, you just want to the staff room. So, uh, it's kind of cool. We're back here at, uh, the Ranger School with all the new students, and, uh, let's go visit Mr. Kinclade. Mr. Kinclade, you're gonna tell us to run the hallways? You're not Kinclade! What have you done to Kinclade? <laughs> the Tangros is chilling over there by himself. So, uh, yeah, there's a new teacher here. What happened to Kinclade? Oh, he's apparently taking a long leave of absence. Interesting. Interesting. Where has Kinclade gone? Because after all, he did seem a bit weird. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. Uh, so, for now, let's go ahead and actually, no, no. I was going to say we should go ahead to Janice, but we can go ahead and visit the, well, this room over here and also visit, uh, well, actually, yeah, actually visit Janice. Oh, wow! You, no. You can look, but you can't touch. You can't touch this! Da na 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 Can't touch this. Anyway. Also, the basement's apparently, uh, available now. Which is interesting. But, uh, actually, while we're at it, there is a Ghastly over here! I forgot about this! So we can actually catch Ghastly and, uh, have access to a ghost-type Pokémon assist if we so choose. Which, that took, like, one loop. Yay! <laughs> that almost literally took one If I had, like, another level, that would have taken one loop. That's hilarious. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> we only got an A rank, really? That's sad. Anyway, uh... I guess, because we could, we could potentially be showing off the ghost assist in this episode now. Um... Let's go ahead and show off what the ghost assist does. So, because you actually can get a ghost Pokemon here. That's cool. So uh, apparently, so basically, as you do draw loops, the ghosts will appear inside the capture line, which will cause additional damage and tire them out, which uh, makes it so they can't recover their HP. So it's not really that good, in my opinion. It's definitely been nerfed since the first one. It's good against psychic ghost types, but bad against dark steel and normal types. 
So if there's an opportunity to show it off this episode, I will. Also, you know what? I'm really curious about something. What is this happy mood thing? Huh. Apparently, sometimes they'll be in a happy mood. Has that even happened before? Where like it's been in a happy mood like that? I didn't even know that was a thing. Interesting. So apparently, your partner can get a happy mood and will charge his gauge faster. Not that it really matters. I would show off the get the ghost assist against like a Zubat, but we can't. We capture them so fast that uh. Oops, I didn't mean to go back downstairs. We would capture them so fast that it wouldn't actually matter because uh, we wouldn't get a chance to really op optimally show it off. So, just in case we get a chance to show it off later, I'm not entirely sure if we will or not. But uh, yes, yes, we eat properly. Oh, Janice. Anyway, let's actually progress the plot. We've uh, we've re-explored the Ranger School and got ourselves a ghost type to use. But uh, for now, we'll go ahead and talk to the prof to, to the principal, uh, Principal Lamont. I think, right? Yeah. And, uh, we get to go ahead and be the, uh, outdoor teacher, so... He... just... you always say all the wisest things, mister! You are a wise man. So, uh, we'll head to Ascension Square, and we'll take care of our outdoor class. Everyone's been looking forward to it, as always, because, uh, we're awesome. Oh, and, uh, we get the... so apparently he gets to... mention about the... the another mention that Mr. Kinclade is, uh, over there, and also we've been... April! Miss April! We, we've heard this from a student already, and we've been to the basement. You don't need to tell me these things. I've already done this. I'm Let's Play in this. I know what I'm doing, I swear! Anyway, uh... We'll head over to this, and outdoor class begin! So, uh... Who's the guy on the right? He looks kind of suspicious. Anyway, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually trying to remember who that guy on the right is. Uh, anyway, so, blah blah blah, one day teacher, that's completely throwing me off. Also, you can tell, by the way, in the corner there, there's a squirrel over there, so now for some reason there's a squirrel at the school. Um, so yeah, we have a cool ranger pose, we have a special pose, we should, uh, yeah, we have an awesome pose. Oh man, the question answer session of terror. So we get to answer a bunch of questions for the, uh, the people. Did we get good grades at school? I would hope so. We better of I mean, we did graduate with... We did catch a Tangrowth. I think that's worth it. I'd say it's pretty busy of all these things going around. Because of all the strange incidents. Yes, indeed. Have you ever seen a real Gigarim? Oh, you bet your bottom dollar I have. Wicked. Are you in love with someone? I'm, 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 sure. Lucky times rhythm me all the way. I think I think it's kind of supposed to be like a an implied thing that luck that the uh, the, your protagonist and rhythm me are sort of a thing. I don't know. Or at least were a thing. Uh, I don't think we've captured 100 Pokemon yet, so but we'll get there quite soon. Uh, something bad taking place in the Alma region right now. We're gonna lie. We're gonna do a little white lie, cause no, we're uh, we're 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 we're, we're, we're all, all on it. We're gonna be ta we're gonna take care of everything quite easily. We're gonna we gotta we gotta put you know some you gotta get, put some positive feelings in the students. Gotta make them not worry. They gotta focus on their studies, and we'll we'll take care of it. Of course, you can touch our styler. She wants the styler. Oh god, no. Why did I do that? Anyway. I had to, I'm sorry. <laughs> My hairstyle is... Hey. Hey now. Don't be dissing me, I'm a ranger. So, uh-oh. Uh uh-oh! That's Team Dim Sun! They're back! For seconds. It's the group that we uh, took out before. So, uh... Darn you, Team, Team Dim Sun! We will protect the children! This is just kind of it's an interesting moment in the game where, like, you're literally protecting the children and everyone from, uh, the evil criminals here, so... Uh... You almost kind of feel like, hey, you stay the heck back from the kids! I'll st I will destroy you! Uh-oh. Hey, you stay away from Miss April as well! Don't mess with me, guy! Don't mess with me- I got a ghost! So, uh, we have- they have a second bit Marino. This, uh, it's the, their latest weapon, the Mimarino, it's a Carnivine! So actually it's a new Pokemon, so I won't use Ghastly against that, just because it's a new Pokemon. I'll definitely show off Ghastly, I, I, I mean, I show off the assist, I'll, I'll refresh about us and the assist next time, and we'll, uh, we'll do, we'll, we'll do all the, uh, we'll show off the assist next episode, I think. That seems like a better plan to me. Oh, I lost the initial, ah! Okay, I got the group bonus. So, as long as I don't take damage, well... 
I don't know if I'm going to get S-Rank now, but... Those are the Carnivines. We've taken care of them. They're uh, additional grass Pokemon. And... Ooh, the group capture gave me a ton, but not quite enough. If I had that no damage, I probably would have hit the S-Rank. Ah, well. It's not the end of the world. So, uh, we've destroyed this mini Remo as well. The Carnivine are free. And, uh... Time for you to flee, villains! I will protect the kids. With my life! Yeah, I'm awesome. Anyway, uh... So that takes care of, uh... Protecting the kids and... Doing a very epic question and answer session for the students. So... This game has its moments where, like, things are just really touching, I think. Like, it really does have its moments that are really, really wonderful, I think. So, uh, she must be like Elaine. Okay, congratulations, you've helped the milkman. So everyone's just really happy, everyone's had a really good day. One last question, is it fun being a Pokemon Ranger? You bet it is, kid. You bet it is. So, uh... Outdoor class was pretty exciting. And, man, all... The, the, see, this is why I like this game. It gives you this nice little lull in the action, this nice little boost, just like, just th these good feels right before the game just gets really, really, really intense. Like, I mean, slight spoilers, but the game's about to get really, really good. Like, really, really good. So, uh, we've even inspired the new teacher. We've, uh, we've done a good, we've done a good thing here today. So, uh, everyone's really happy. And, uh, mission clear, I think. Oh, I guess he gets to have a question, too. Oh, apparently he knows Chairperson Irma. She, see she seemed okay to me. So, uh... And now, by the way, we can access the school whenever we want, so we finally able to go back to school whenever we so please. So, like I said, there's a squirrel up here for some reason, by the way. Which I guess you could use to get the Bonsley nearby, but we've already gotten the Bonsley, if you remember correctly. So, uh, we don't really need to worry about that so much. But, uh... Like, the Bonsley, though, that's right over... There's a Bonsley up, uh... Oh, here, I'll just, I'll just take a few seconds to show. If you don't have a Bonsley, you can grab the Squirtle and get the one that's, like, right here. But, uh... Because you do need the... Can I touch you? Thank you. You do need the one soak, so... Uh, that is there, if you, uh... If you need it. Actually, we know who we haven't visited. We haven't visited these people over here. I'm assuming they just give us the, the basic rundown again, correct? No, you don't need to explain how a target color works, and yeah, so they just do the the re tutorials. If for some reason at this point in the game you uh, still need a tutorial, so if you actually head back inside and talk to the people, I'm pretty sure all the students just say a lot of the similar things that like they said before. So I'm not gonna go ahead and refresh the students for the most part, because like, pretty sure the new teacher comes in here and he's just like, "You are really inspiring," and this one's like. Oh, okay, so just stuff like that, I guess, so... Oh, you got one-year extension. Yeah, so they say a lot of pretty much the same things they said before. So, bye students, it's time for us to head back home. And uh, from there, we can go ahead and prepare ourselves for the next uh, exciting adventure in our lives. Because like I said, after this mission, the game gets really intense. Like, you think things are good now, it's about to dramatically pick up. Also, apparently you can use this door to exit your Doduo. Noted. Anyway, I actually can't catch another- actually, I don't need a Tangra for anything, so... Did I run to the Badoo or the Doduo? I ran to the Badoo! Well, dang. <laughs> I'm not gonna even run away, there's no point. Whatever, we'll just waste a few more seconds. But yeah, the game's gonna be about to get really pick up. Uh, we'll head back to the Ranger base and we'll, uh... See where things go from there, so we don't need either of you. Go away. Tangrowth is cool and all, but whatever. And I want to try to keep the Cherim. I don't really have high, have high hopes of keeping the Cherim, but I want to try to. Because uh, if I can, it will come in handy for a quest in the future, and I won't have to go all the way back to the Pair of Cliffs. But if it becomes inconvenient um, during the next few missions, which it very likely will, because the next few missions get pretty intense. Um, I'll pro I mean, you just, it's, a, it's a backtrack, whatever. It's not the end of the world. So anyway, we'll grab another Doduo just to have for next episode, because we're going to have to make a, a journey next episode, and that'll save some time. But uh, for now, we head back to Vientown, we end this episode off, and we uh, we go from there. So 
We've saved the kids. We've done a good deed today. I don't know. I, I like this part of the game. It's, it's another one of those nice little... Like, this game is really good at having nice little calms before the storms, so to say. So, uh, now that this calm is taken care of, it's, uh, it's time for the storm next episode. Hey man, we, uh, we accomplished our mission. Surprise guest experience from Team Chinese Food. And, uh, <laughs> can I just, I think I want to call them Team Chinese Food from now on. Slightly racist, potentially, but, uh, I like it. So, mission clear. Oh, apparently, uh, Keith has been making a name for himself in the meantime. So, uh, apparently he was at the showdown at Fior Temple hideout, and he's apparently taking on some, uh, Team Dim Sum members of his own. But who is that mysterious lady with an Infernape? Interesting, but Keith seems to be doing pretty well for himself. I wonder, uh, what that'll have to do. No, we're not gonna rest now, Crawford. We'll rest next episode, because we don't know what it's like to be tired! So, oh, you're, you're saying the same things you did before. You're saying the same things too? Yeah, I think, yep. Yep, everyone's saying the same stuff as before. You all are boring. Anyways, guys, this is Lucky7DX signing out. In the next episode, like I said, interesting, interesting things are gonna begin to happen. And, uh, things are gonna start to get pretty intense, I think. But, uh, for now, we're signing out. We took a nice, easy, uh, sort of mission. The calm before the storm, like I said. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.